Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ellie. I'm a registered associate nutritionist. And today I'm talking to you all about the mineral iron. What is it? Why do we need it? How much do we need in our diet? Plus stick around to the end to find out the best food sources of iron. Iron has many roles in the body. It's important for making hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells that transports oxygen around the body. And iron also plays a key role in maintaining a healthy immune system, so our body's natural defense system. A lack of iron can lead to iron deficiency anemia. But how much iron do we really need in the diet? Well, the recommended daily intake of iron depends on various factors, including things like your age and your gender. Women between the age of 11 and 50 typically need more iron than men of the same age. So males between the age of 19 and 50 need around 8.7 milligrams of iron, whereas girls of the same age between 11 and 50 need 14.8 milligrams. Once we hit 50, we both need 8.7 milligrams a day. I've created a chart to help some of my one-to-one -one clients who struggle with iron deficiency anemia or just have a quite a low iron intake in their diet. So I will leave that chart on the screen here for you to take notes or take a screenshot. There's often so much more to think about than simply whether you're consuming enough of a certain vitamin or mineral. So for example, with iron, certain things can actually increase the absorption in your body. Here are three quick tips to help you optimize iron absorption. Firstly, avoid drinking tea and coffee with your meals. The polyphenols in these drinks can actually inhibit iron absorption. So ideally wait at least an hour before or after a meal before drinking tea or coffee. Tip two is to eat foods rich in vitamin C to boost iron absorption. So that's things like kiwi, oranges, strawberries, broccoli, and red peppers. And the third tip is that calcium hinders iron absorption. So if you can avoid having calcium rich foods within half an hour of iron rich foods, don't worry too much about this. It's just an extra piece of knowledge to bear in mind. And finally, I'm going to share with you the best food sources of iron. But before I do, if you like what you've heard so far, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the red subscribe button for more content like this, and also comment down below to let me know if you're enjoying this kind of content and what you want to see next. If you're looking to work with a nutritionist for more personalized advice, I am accepting new clients into my one-to-one -one virtual clinic. You can get in touch via the links below or I'll leave my website on screen here. It's elliebreacher.co.uk. And now for the best foods you should eat to get iron through your diet. Here are eight food sources that are rich in iron and ideally you want to include a mixture of animal-based, which is called heme iron, and plant-based sources, which is non-heme iron. So we've got red meat, kidney beans, chickpeas, nuts, spinach, peas, brown rice, and tofu. I've created a free resource for my one-to-one -one clients. It's a fact sheet all about iron, including a complete breakdown of how many milligrams of iron you can find per 100 grams of lots of different foods. So it makes it really easy to look at the back of a label and really understand what you should be going for. If you'd like access to this free fact sheet, just drop me a comment down below with your email address and I will send that over to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information, you can follow me on Instagram here and I will see you back here with another video next time.